afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Chicago Cubs and the San Francisco Giants. Stepping in, Javier Baez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. From the windup, the 1-1 one pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Stepping in now, Jason Hayward. Pitch is high. The throw not in time as he steals second. Counts even to Hayward. Two balls and two strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. Crawford fields it cleanly. And that's out number one. Digging in now, Chris Bryant. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. The three and one pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Contreras. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2 and a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away and that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate two hits and eight tries for the series. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up but. That was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself, but he didn't swing at that one. A swing, and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. Gone. He finds the short porch for a home run. To the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Late, Wilmer Flores. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 1-1 one, one on its way from Lester. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Into center field, line drive base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Giants. Lead off hitters aboard. The center fielder, Duggar. In now, Steven Duggar. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Lester has pitched his way to over 2,600 innings of work at the big league level. And with greater than 2,400 punch outs, he stands in the territory of greats like Dennis Eckersley, Louis Tiant, and Andy Pettit. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So one gone in the that inning here with the runner at first. Right and that brings in the outfielder right Hunter Pence. And the pitch on two and one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box now, Mike Yastrzemski. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The 2 2. 
He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Ian Happ is retired to kick off the inning. In the air, down the line in left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So digging in now, John Lester. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now pitch on the way. Hit out towards second. Flores has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And Longoria swings and misses. A good pitch there, and he's down on strikes for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Brandon Crawford, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Here's Baez to make the catch, and that becomes out number two. Now at the plate, Buster Posey. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Down low, two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2-2. Popped up. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, Javier Baez. He singled his last time up. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on-deck circle. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So one away in the inning, and that'll bring in the dangerous bat of Jason Hayward, the right fielder. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. In tight with the slider, two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. He froze him on the breaking ball that time. Jason Hayward is out number two here in the third inning. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. So with that, the top of the third inning will continue at least one more batter. The captain, number 40, Wilson Contreras. At the plate now, Wilson Contreras. So a full count now. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Bryant is on his way home. And he's in safely at third as a run will score on the play as well. Anthony. Standing in now, Anthony Rizzo. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. First baseman Brandon Bell. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. 
been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. That's popped up. Bryant in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Another full count pitch home. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Now with the plate, Logan Webb. 1-1 one, one on its way from Lester. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. Rizzo is there, and he'll bring this one in. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilmer Flores. Second at bat here, he reached via a single to lead off the home first. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat, an opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. And he fouls this one off. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the Better second time today, two. he's gone on strikes. There's ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. The 1 1. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Swinging a soft liner in there, a base hit. Up next to the count, the pitcher, John. At the plate, John Lester. Now Lester squares and gets this one down. There's one on the belt, but it won't be in time as they just settle for one. Digging in to try it again. Javier Baez. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. The 2 1. It's taken for strike two. Full count. Three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this eight. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Stephen Duggar. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Line drive to left. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Stepping in now, Hunter Pence. On the ground is short. This could be two. A bare hand for one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. So coming to the plate, Mike Yastrzemski looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Swinging a ball yanked down the right field line. And that is off the wall in right field. Now that the third baseman, Evan Longoria. To the plate now, Evan Longoria. Two balls and a strike to Longoria. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball, took it deep, just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. Oh, right back at Lester on the mound. And he'll toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again, and the inning is over. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward at 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 2 1 home. Popped him up. There to take it is Belt for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Chris Bryant. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Nope. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Count full, three balls and two strikes. 3 2 pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. So bases are empty here with two gone, and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Tyler Beatty takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Anthony Rizzo will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Now the 2-1 pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Brandon Crawford digging in next. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former World Series champ, MVP, and rookie of the year, Buster Posey. Up high, two and one now. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Half is there, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. Lester's ready. Here it is on three and one. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Ball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he lays off ball four, so he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. One one. Belt over at second. Solano on at first with two down. Line toward center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Belt rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores as they close the gap to three now. The battle. The center fielder. Into the box now, Steven Duggar. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 
fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it, and that retires the side. Oh. Sam Coonrod will come on now and make now his 55th appearance of the year. Number 65. Sam. Digging in, Kyle Good Schwarber. Run. He'll look to get things going here in the Cubs' half of the sixth. The one two. That's a ball. Two balls. Three strikes. Swing and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. Pence has a read on it. He's got it one away. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. It was a walk in his last trip. Happ with a two and one count now. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Now that so now to the plate, Jason Kipnis. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Striding in once again, John Lester. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Fouled away. Sixth inning. Four to one is our score. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. 1-1 one, one on its way from Lester. Two and two. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. The left fielder, number five, Mike At the plate now, Mike Yastrzemski. Fly ball out toward left center field. Half will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Runner at first here, one man out. Longoria. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Baez has a play, two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting shortstop and San Francisco Bay Area native Brandon Crawford. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Buster Posey would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Standing in now, Buster Posey. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. When your team is behind this late in the game, it's not a good look for you as a hitter to show no discipline and wave at a pitch that wasn't even sniffing the zone. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw on to first, and the Giants will be turned away here as that ends the inning.
John Del Gustave will come on now and he'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Aramis Garcia will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. And batting nine, number 16. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Here's Jason Hayward now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1-1 one, one home. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 2-1 home is laid off of for ball number three. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. Pulled toward right center field. Duggar on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Here's Chris now Bryant that, now. The third base. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Pence. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ryan Tapera will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 52. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Brandon Belt. One one runs a bit inside for a ball. High in the air into shallow left center. In comes the center fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Now battle. Number 15. At the plate, Aramis Garcia. Strike taken up in the zone. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Now the Next to bat for the Giants, Wilmer Flores. So far, right. two for three in this one. The one two. Line toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Now so they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. Stepping in now, Steven Duggar. And he throws a cutter right by him to take control one and two. Ryan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Hayward is there. Let's see if they test it. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Stepping in, Hunter Pence. And their runners at the corners now. Now the one and one pitch. One run, eight hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Lifted in the air to center. Cap is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Ready to begin the eighth, and now it'll be the catcher, Wilson Contreras. The 1 1. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Now the pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Back goes Yastrzemski. 
gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hits this one hard the other way. Crawford's got it on the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now back. So one gone here in the Chicago eighth, and next it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Here's the 1-1. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Popped him up. Flores is there for it. Two gone. So striding forward now, Ian Happ. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Now the one and one pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Jason Kipnis would be next. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Now that second baseman, Jason. So now to the plate, Jason Kipnis. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's two and one now. His prior history in this matchup, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. In there, two and two. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. At the plate, Mike Yastrzemski. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Two balls and a strike to count. Now the 2-1. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. Yastrzemski takes the turn at third. He wants it all. Safe at the plate as they close the gap to three now. Craig Kimbrell will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. David Bodie is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now playing second and batting nine. Number 13. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Now the pitch fouled off. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. One gone here in the Giants half of the eighth and stepping in the slick field and shortstop Brandon Crawford. Here now the 2 2 is a swing and a miss that's strike three Alex Dickerson will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 12. Alex. Two runs, nine hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now.
breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. That's a good job right there. Very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Kimbrell's ready. Here comes the three and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Tyler Rogers enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Digging in, David Bodie. Just one for ten in the series coming in, so he'll look for better results here today. Sent out to straightaway center field. After it is Duggar into a slide as he makes a great basket catch. And that brings up Javi Baez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now the one and one pitch. Rogers, originally from the centennial state of Colorado. He was taken in the 10th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And there are two away now. Now batting. Right Stepping into the box, Jason Hayward. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. 1-1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Duggar is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Dan Winkler is the man called on now to close this one and earn a save in the night. Dan. Into the box, Brandon Belt. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And there's one away. Coming to the plate now, Aramis Garcia. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. That's off the end of the bat foul, and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time. Another one sent foul. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Six fouls in a row. This is turning into one of those epic at bats. Who's going to blink first? Is the pitcher going to continue to attack the zone or is the hitter going to come outside it? And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. Stepping forward, Wilmer Flores. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. Five to two the final today. The Cubbies hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. John Lester earned his ninth win of the year. Dan Winkler earns the save out of the bullpen his 30th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Giants, two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.